Hi everybody, it's another Chicken Chronicles. I'm up here on the hill, getting ready to let out the ladies for some time outside of the pen. And uh, it's another windy day here in Kellyville, but it's a beautiful, glorious day as you can see in the sky. It's supposed to get up to about 29 degrees Celsius today. So uh, it's a bit of a warm one, definitely sandal weather. I don't know if you can see my shoes. So uh, let's go let the ladies out. They're all here, all here, waiting, lined up, ready to go. So let's let them out. rare occasions where even mamas come out of her usual spot. You can see how tiny she is. She's a little bantam hen compared to all the other chooks that we have here. The alien hen is still just as bossy and pushy as ever. E.T. But she's settling in well otherwise. Don't get in the way. <laughs> so when I arrived here, there were still a bunch of ibises in the cage, and they flew off before I had a chance to whip out my phone. But uh, as you can see, probably still the roof still has to be worked on, but we're getting there. So hopefully, once that's done, uh, we won't be seeing those bin chickens again. But Interestingly enough, I did spot Mr. Magpie somewhere up there in the trees and uh, he was actually chasing one of them away. So there you go, he's a bit of a double agent. <laughs> the ladies are enjoying their time in the sun. We've got a beautiful Corella, one of the native Australian parrots up in the tree. Cousin of the cockatoo. It's got a beautiful pink pink and blue face. So you see them around here quite a lot in Kellyville. But uh, I guess that one got a bit camera shy. Sometimes if you put out seeds, when you start to see one, it's not long before a whole flock of them show up. Another Corella has shown up. Looking to see what's going on down here. They make a nice sort of, it's not quite a squawk, it's more like a honk sound. Oh, and there's Mr. Magpie. It's always interesting to see who has a higher rank to the other birds. It's the pigeons, the lorikeets, corellas, galahs, or the chickens. You can see here along this fence, this fence up there at the edge of our property actually, uh, we've got backs onto a pedestrian walkway, a public walkway, and you can see there's been lots of gaps. Um, there. So a lot of foxes and other things can crawl under that. So some of these materials that have been put here, you can see they're trying to stop things from crawling under, or including people. And this stuff is put here just to stop people and things going behind the pen. And we have a little gate to, if we need to use it to go out onto the walkway. Some of the hens just like to sit in the shade. They scratch out these little holes and enjoy the coolness of the dirt.
here on the camera, uh, the wind's getting pretty vicious, so most of the heads are on the back of the side now. Uh, I'll just round up the others. 